So I just wanted to share a quick video um, just of my experiences with a pair of Red Wing 875s. Um, so I bought the boots about two years ago um, through Amazon. Um, I think I actually just got, had some vouchers. Um, there's not really many opportunities to try these on locally. There's one shop that sells them, but their prices are sort of almost £100 higher than the Amazon price. So it was, you know, as much as you'd want to support someone, it's a no-brainer um, to not spend that. Um, I've worn these pretty solidly since then, um, especially the first 18 months or so. I've worn them less in the last six months with the lockdown and everything going on. Um, but they've also started to wear through, which I'll go through in a second. Um, I bought these in size 10, which is my normal trainer size. I think, in hindsight, that was probably a bit of a mistake. Um, I'm told that's why the toe rises up a little bit when the sizing is a little bit wrong. Um, in general, they they fit and they're comfortable, but they just they're slightly too loose um, as I'm walking. But for the first three months or so, when the re the leather's really stiff, you just can't tell um, that that's happening. And then as they soften up, they just you start to realise what the issue is. Um, I've worn these with uh, my pair of Red Wing insoles throughout that, um, which are sort of starting to like the need replacing. Um, but they've been really comfortable, and as the leather's become more supple, they've become even comfier. Um, wearing these in every weather meant that they were they quite quickly lost that sort of even colouring. Um, I've had a few attempts at cleaning up, which is my first real experience doing that with um, proper leather boots. And I think I ended up getting them way too dark too quick and over conditioning probably um which i don't mind too much i like the sort of the pattern and the color that comes from that um over time i've ended up um with a couple of other pairs um i got a pair of the black chuckers um on ebay for quite a good price um, i think around 80 pounds maybe 75 um in almost new condition um I've not worn these a lot. I got these in nine and a half after trying um, a size nine in this model. Um, this was the right size for me, but it's, I think I don't find the shoe particularly comfortable. The way it laces up um, doesn't pull in sort of tight enough around the foot um, with just the three lace holes. So I don't wear these very often. Um, you know, once or twice every sort of few months. Um, and then earlier this year, I also picked up... Um, these, which are the uh, uh, the merchants, um, I was looking for something a bit sort of slightly smarter, but still in a sort of sturdy boot. Um, I'm wearing these very occasionally at the moment, just letting them break in slowly. They're still fairly stiff. I've had them since I think February, um, but I'm liking these a lot. I think the sizing's right. These are a size nine. Um, which I think I would go for if I was looking at a new pair of the 875s now. Um, so while the first month they were very tight and very stiff, as I've worn them, they've really started to sort of mould into a more comfortable um, fit. So I've been quite happy with these. Um, back to these. I'm looking this week at sending them off for a resole. Um, so in the first year, once the sole has started to wear through, because the white sole goes really quickly, I put a, um, I went to the local cobbler and they put a repair basically of um, a new sole on. The work's okay. I wasn't particularly happy. He, he ground away um, quite a lot of the stitching. Um, I think in one place he's really close to the stitch. I'm kind of surprised it's not um, come away. Um, but it's not been the worst job and it, it meant that the level went back to where it should be. Um, so using them again was good, but that wore down just as quickly. And I think I must walk unevenly. I've worn them in the same place on each. So I'm sending them off to um, a place in Leeds called Crags, um, which I sort of did a bit of research online, found a few examples. They'll do um, a resale for about £95. I'm going to go for, with these, seeing as the leather's darkened, I'm going to go for a black Vibram lug, and hopefully make these a little bit more of a winter boot so that, you know, the, the grip on, on the sole, especially when it's worn away, is just like ice in, in wet weather and winter weather. And it's no fun to wear them. So I'm thinking about getting a, the Vibram lug um, sole in black. And then just for a little bit of difference, I'm going to have the Stormwell um, put around the edge 
So I've shared shared the sort of example I want with them and they've quoted back. So I'm sending them off today. Um, and I'm just really going to share the experience of having that resole uh, done and see what the quality's like and how that feels. Um, I think in the future, I want to go back to having a pair of these in the correct size, um, which I would wear slightly less, I think, through rotation of other shoes and boots um, and hopefully not sort of wear through them so quickly. Um, and yeah, I'm just looking forward to seeing what the experience is like. So I'm sending those off today. It'd be £95 plus the return shipping. Um, I think they've promised around 10 days to do that. Um, and we just post them off to Leeds. They'll call and let me know they've arrived and we'll see how it goes. So the next part of this video will be when those come back from the um, repair unit. Okay, it's about two weeks since I posted the boots off and the parcels just come back. So I'm going to open it up and take a look inside, see what, um, how they look. So they've just come back in a wrapped in plastic packaging. Um, I sent them off without the laces, just in case they went missing in the process. Um, I'd have to say, yeah, I'm really pleased with those. They've turned out turned out really smart. The soles, uh, the Vibram sole. Um, seems to be well fitted. They've remade the welt around the edge uh, there. I think it looks smart. And I've asked, I asked for it to be a storm welt, which I think is the raised up sort of extra layer of um, welt around the side. I'd say, yeah, I think they look really smart. I think my kind of aim was to have something that I can wear a little bit more wintry um, with the same boot. Now these are broken in. Um, I'm considering getting another pair with um, the white sole in the future. Um, yeah, I'd, I'd say, yeah, I'm really happy with those. I think they've turned out well. This is so this is Crags in Leeds. Uh, the process was really easy. I emailed them first just to discuss and check they could do what I wanted, get a quote. Um, they gave me the address. I packaged them up uh, about two weeks ago on a Friday. Sent them off. Um, Monday morning, they gave me a call. Um, said they'd receive them. They took a payment over the phone, um, which was nice and simple. And yeah, they got to work and they've posted them straight back. I think I think the work's really good. I'm going to um, obviously try these on, make sure I feel happy with them. But yeah, I think the work so far looks really good.